Hello, my sexy muffins, and welcome back to another video. This one goes to all my autistic homies and muffins, uh, specifically because it is an autistic listener. So, muffins, let's get on to business. In this, it is Yandere Ozzy and Fizzarelli X gender neutral for the reasons that is gender neutral listener who is autistic, and mainly in this, it is them being autistic, slight, and also mute. So they do not verbally talk, but they do know sign language, which will be good that Fizzarelli and most likely Asmodeus both know sign language so that and Fizzarelli knows sign language and canon. So yeah, there will be some head canons and trait and a scenario. So let's get down to business. Disclaimer, this is a specific autist, autistic traits. Not all, all people with autism act it's all the same way and this is the specific ones that the person wanted that is of mute uses hand gestures a lot in sign language to communicate to communicate and very rarely speaks and also that they are worn out and they are very much just shutting down and going to their safe space which is their bed with ozzy and fizz and such so that is what we're going based off of the quest and request and stuff. So let's get on to it. Disclaimer number two. Disclaimer number two. Yeah, Fizzarelli, Fizzarelli and Osmodius are a canon couple. They are not Yandere and canon. This is just for fun and not to be taken seriously at all. Simping for fictional characters in Yandere is fine. Just do not be illegal or gross about it. And remember to separate fiction from reality and head canon from canon. A thank you. And for those who do not know, yesterday I did not post because I took a mental health day because I was just so physically drained. Like for those who do not know, I get mania and then really highs highs with my mania from my bipolar. And then I get really, really lows. And yesterday was a really, really low day where I was just really, I was just basically asleep almost 24 seven yesterday. So anyways, I have eaten, I have eaten, I have eaten, I have eaten, I have watered myself. I got water in my cup right here. Gonna need a refill in a second. And I have taken care of myself. Now on to the video. So the head cans and head cannons and trait. Ozzy and Fisarali would actually be really good, most likely in canon, with an autistic partner. Ozzy is so understanding and supportive, but he doesn't push Fisarali and Canon, so he wouldn't push his autistic partner and can't partner in canon to do stuff that made them uncomfortable or to force their hand into doing stuff. He would always be supportive and just be there, but sometimes we'll like get Blitz involved or someone like Blitz that is on your side to help push you in the right direction, but with the best intentions, which we love about Ozzy. Even as a Yandere, he is still like this and very protective. He's even more protective when he's a Yandere. It's obscenely protective where he will legit go up against people like Mammon and Lucifer to make sure that you are safe and sound and that no one takes advantage of you. Fizzarelli is also a very good support because he does sign language and helps you learn new sign language. And for you, he becomes one of your biggest, um, what's it called? It's on the tip of my tongue. I don't know. Translators, I guess. Translators, where he can communicate with you when you guys are out in public ordering food, um, getting stuff done. So when you go out with Fizz Raleigh, you know that you have the security that Fizz is able to be the middleman of communicating with you, especially since your autism will affect you having very social skills with being able to socialize with others and trying to express what you need. So Fizz Raleigh is a good buffer for that in the relationship, which is phenomenal. And he's also very protective and will shield you from me and stuff like that. But he's also super excitable. And when he finally is able to show that he does love you, he adores it. He's over the moon. He's over the, he's just to the moon and back being able to spend time with you. And let's be honest, they're both touchy feely there. Uh, they would always have a secure hand on you and they, with Ozzy, you would probably have sensory stuff with him where you are soothed by it touching his feathers on his chest and stuff and so on and so forth, which is actually very good. And he loves how you do it and stuff. Anyways, other traits that they have, they would be, as I said before, very, very protective and they would get into fights with others to keep you safe and sound and be worried about you. Also, 
Osmodius as a Yandere, it would almost want to keep you locked away. He knows it's not ideal situation, but he does not want you to be hurt so much that if something did happen, he might react poorly in the sense that he keeps you locked away in the tower just for your safety. He does it in a loving way. He's not doing it to be controlling or you cannot see anyone else. He wants you to be safe and sound and he over worries. But when you talk to him or have Fizz and you talk to him, he will calm down. Fizz Raleigh is also the one that panics a lot in situations when it comes to confrontation. He's not good with that, but he will get into someone's face if they did get to you. He's like a mama bird with you. Like you peck at my partner, I'm going to peck at you back type of situation and all that. Now onto the scenario. Oh, forgot. If someone were to try to confess their love to you, they would simply move you away and then Osmodius would probably, you know, them because no one's going to confess their love to his and Fizzarali's darling. Oh, no, 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 no. And all that stuff. And also that they do keep some things from you for your safety and mindfulness that you are taken care of and that what you don't know doesn't hurt you, especially when it's people that could be trying to steal you away from them or fans that you might have yourself. They just don't want any of that toxic stuff with you or to lose you. So they will keep you in the dark on some things, which is a little shady, but it's not the worst Yandere's can do. Also, they would at Fizzarali would absolutely throw hands with any creepy fans that got too close to you. Like he's experienced himself. He's not going to have his darling have to experience either. Oh no, 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 no. Anyways, onto the scenario. So you were having a really hard day. You got home from work and instantly went up to your Ozzy's and Fizzarali's room and covered yourself in the blanket. Like one of those, you know, you've probably seen it on TikTok and stuff of the girlfriends under the blanket getting snackies and stuff from their partner. So basically that's what you are. You're the lump. You're the lump under the blanket, hiding yourself from the world, playing on your phone. Of course, Ozzy and Fizzarelli both knew this was happening. So they start to get your comfort kit. Now, for those who do not know what a comfort kit, it is a kit that has several items. Well, not several items, but several cents, five senses. Sorry, my brain fart. Five senses of all your senses to stimulate you. First, Fizzarelli gets out your favorite music, which is... Sorry, uh, I have the ringing in my ears from blaring uh, music in it, so I just suddenly got a ring in my ears. I apologize. Anyways, so Fizzarelli gets your favorite music and starts playing it on the record. Ozzy then starts to cook your favorite snacks. And um, what was... Oh, yes. he Fizzarelli gets some aroma, aroma therapy. I know I'm saying that wrong. I apologize. And puts it in the room to help make it smell better. And also to help you. And also gets a heated plushie uh, that has the scent of your favorite scent in, b- built into the plushie. So you can smell it. And he slides it to the blanket. You peek the blanket up, grab the plushie, and take it into the thing. And he smiles. It was a good sign that you were accepting gifts. So then you got other sensory toys and stuff to help you relax. And also your drawn tablet. And... A YouTube tablet so you can relax with whatever you want to do. He, he then sits with you on there and you slowly peek out your hand and grab his, holding it under the out, outside of the under the blanket, and he smiles. Don't worry, your name, we got you. Ozzy is going to make some nice treats and then we can have a cuddle session on the couch, he says to you. You make a noise of agreement and smile at him, rubbing your thumb on the back of his hand. He smiles at you and nuzzles your hand to his hit to his cheek. Once Ozzy brought in the snacks, you peeked out, lifting the blanket over your head. Your eyes were puffy from crying and you were overstimulated and just having a really bad day. Ozzy didn't get too close to you because he knew that overstimulation right now, you would not want to be touched necessarily. It would be best for you to come to them so that you were ready for that affection. And you smiled at him, signing thank you to him, which is touching your your fingers and like and close together to your chin and bringing them down, which is thank you in sign language. And he smiles, giving you the snacks and sitting on the other side of the bed. You munch on the snacks and the Fizzarali talks about his day in a calm voice. 
mostly it's just noise, background noise for you that is helping you to keep from being overstimulated by everything else going on. Like how the lights are too bright or how the annoying click clack of the clock was bothering you. Just the sound of your Fizzarelli's voice was soothing you and you soon cuddled into the blankets and laid your head on Osmodeus' lap. Fizzarelli smiled and nuzzled Ozzy's cheek. You fell asleep full of snacks and comfort. Just being in the comfort of your partners was great. Ozzy and Fizzarelli looked at each other. We gotta figure out who upset upset them, Ozzy says. Fizzarelli nodded. I will get the cameras tomorrow morning. Right now I just want to be near your name, they said. He says. Ozzy nodded in agreement and you all stayed like that. You were blissfully unaware of the danger the people were that had upset you and pushed you over the stimulation yesterday because they were not in for an easy future when it came to Osmodius and Fizzarelli being protective of you. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this. If you would like to see more, comment below what you would like to see. And yeah, a sensory uh, comfort kit or what or whatever you want to call it is basically something with that can stimulate your five senses. It's something you can have easily in a bag to go places when you are, like favorite perfume or essential oil to rub on your temples so you can smell it and that you can calm down with it. And also a favorite snacky or drink or gum or whatever, a favorite flavor that helps you relax and stuff, like individual bag chips of a favorite snack or beef jerky or whatever. And also a site, which is usually... YouTube phone stimulation again with music as well. Your favorite playlist or seat or back in the day when I had one originally was a CD player with my favorite CDs and such. And also touch a uh, here in sight, which goes what for me is my phone for YouTube mindless scrolling and also listening to my favorite playlist that helped calm me down. I have YouTube music for a reason. And also lastly, the touch because for me personally with my autism, I'm a texture person and texture with something that can keep me going. Also with taste, I like to do in a repetitive motion with my anxiety and stuff as well with my autism and anxiety that helps me chew. So I have like a pig, big pack of multiple flavors of gum and just chew, chew, chew for that. And yeah, that's a sensory comfort kit because when you're distracting your five senses, it helps take you down from a panic attack or an anxiety attack by helping you focus on that. It also keeps it from coming up, which is good for travel and stuff. And also helps stimulate your brain to keep it from thinking about the thing that's going on and gives you comfort from the five things that are very comfortable. Or you can have multiple things for each thing, like Game Boys, uh, Game Boy Advances, or whatever new game system they have. I'm old, okay? I can't think of the new Nintendo Switch or whatever. Stuff that will help distract you and comfort you. Favorite book, comic book, manga, etc. Yes. Anyways, I'm sorry for that wrong end. If there's anything else you would like to see, comment below what you would like to see, and I will do my best to do it. Soon up will be the Pumpkin Spice Discourse of with Velvet and Gender Neutral Listener, so keep an eye out for that. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this, and if you would like to see more, comment below what you would like to see, and all that, and Patreon Natural, Patreon Natural. Thank you, Gav, for being my first patron. You are wonderful, beautiful, stunning, gorgeous. Thank you, Gav. And that is it. I hope that you all enjoyed this. If you would like to see more, again, you know what to do. And stay sexy on my sexy muffins. Bye-bye. Secret outro time. Secret outro time. Secret, 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 secret outro time. Secret outro, secret outro, secret outro of baseball bat. Welcome to the secret outro. And the secret outro question of the day is... What would be your emergency mental health kick? Mine is personally gum and a couple of snacks, either sweet or salty, whatever I'm craving that day. And also a plushie for stimulation and touch and texture. Or a squishmallow, uh, not a squishmallow, a squishy, one of those squishy anxiety toys that you squish and its belly goes into a big bulb, that type of thing. Or something with poppets. And also... There is, what is it called? What is it called? Um, it's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, my phone for music playlist and also YouTube. I have comfort YouTubers I watch and listen to that are just soothing and help get my mind off things. I 90% watch them reruns of their videos over and over. And also touch sound. Sm ah, yes. Smell and sight. 
site I already mentioned for the thing, but I also sometimes read mangas online on my phone, so my phone's a big thing. But also, uh, smell. My favorite perfume, because I have a very sensitive nose that affects me to have migraines and stuff, and it sucks. So mine is personally a Japanese cherry blossom from Bed Bath and Body, I think. Bed Bath and Body. I think that's it, or something like that. A bed bath beyond or something. I don't know. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed and stay sexy. All my sexy muffin. What is your self-care sensory kit? Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed and stay sexy. All my sexy muffins. Once again.